There are a few differences between the inline and ice hockey game. The main one being that inline hockey only has two zones, the defensive zone and the offensive zone. Whereas for ice hockey, we have the defensive zone, the neutral zone, and the offensive zone. The one distinct rule difference is offside. For ice hockey, the puck has to enter the offensive zone first prior to any offensive players at any given time. Whereas for inline hockey, it's completely different. You can have offensive players stationed in the offensive zone. However, the puck carrier has to cross the red center line in order to make a pass. If he or she does not do that, if he or she passes prior to the red line, it's going to be called offside. So we talked about the offside rule. Now we're going to go into the icing rule. There's actually no distinct difference whatsoever between the icing for ice hockey and inline hockey. If the player decides to shoot the puck from behind the red line and goes over the opposing goal line, it's called icing. However, in inline hockey, we call it clearing. And then perhaps one last tiny little difference is that we actually play 4-on-4 four four instead of 5-on-5. Five five. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button below for more inline content. Hi guys, to begin the first tutorial for inline hockey, we're going to be looking at the difference between inline hockey gear and ice hockey gear, specifically the pros and the cons for playing inline hockey. The most 